Hey, this is Mad Movie Mark, another Mad Movie Mark movie review. Thank you for joining me as I review the 1955 French musical spectacular, The French Can Can. <laughs> There's no reason to rush in. Uh, we're not at a standing room only quite yet. I'm reviewing every movie that has 100% fresh writing on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm giving them all a score of 1 to 10. After I watch them and score them all, I will rank them from worst to best. I started in the 1920s the movie era, and now I'm at 1955 with The French Can Can. This movie was directed by Jean Wenoir. It stars Jean Gabon as Henri Danglard, Francine Arnold as Nini, and Maria Felix as Lola de Castro. So uh, this is the second movie that I've seen that's directed by Jean Renoir. Uh, the first movie was Bordeaux Saved from Drowning, and I absolutely hated that movie. <laughs> I think I give it a 5 out of 10. It's the worst rated movie that I've done so far. Uh, and this movie, a little bit better, but not too much. Uh, I really enjoy Jean Gabon. I think this is the, the last movie that I'm going to watch with him on this list. I gave Pepe Lamoco a 9.5, and, and I think I gave Grisby an 8 or an 8.5. He's just a fantastic actor, and I'm really not sure why he did this role at all. Uh, so this movie is about Henry Danglard. He has a nightclub that he runs where the main attraction is a belly dancer named Lola de Castro, who is also his girlfriend. Another um, part of this nightclub is a clown, a guy who's dressed as a clown, who like whistles to different songs. And it's actually a pretty cool act that they do. Um, it's really nice. It's like a, it's a small act that they do. Uh, but Henry goes to a bigger kind of nightclub and he sees people doing this dance called the Can Can. Now he is immediately in awe about how much excitement, how much uh, passion, how much fun these people are having, dancing this can can and he envisions that he is going to open his own grand nightclub where people dance the can can and he's going to call it the moulin rouge so he has this idea in his head he finds this girl who is a washroom girl so she is uh poor she doesn't make a lot of money there's no glitz there's no glamour in her life he finds her and he thinks that this is going to be the next big star the next big can can dancer so he goes up to her and he asks her if she would like to audition and be in his uh, act that he's going to put on, this new show that he's going to do. Now she at first is a little uh, timid by this because she doesn't know if this is real, like if it's just a guy that's trying to con her into doing something or if this is like a real opportunity. Uh, but she eventually takes it. She figures, why not? I'll, I'll take this opportunity. Tout de suite, si vous voulez. Il faut qu'elle finisse sa journée. Eh ben, ben, je viendrai la prendre ce soir. Oui, tu sais, c'est très gentil, mais qu'est-ce qui me dit que c'est sérieux Faudrait une avance, chère madame. Minute papillon, j'ai mon mot à dire, moi aussi. D'abord, comment c'est que vous vous appelez et où c'est que vous me présentez Je m'appelle Danglard. J'ai eu l'hippodrome, le jardin de Paris, et maintenant j'ai le paravent chinois. So he takes her to the place where uh, he plans on having these women practice their moves, and... Um, to her surprise, it's actually real. He actually is offering her a chance to dance the dance of the can-can. Um, now, as he's explaining to the other women in the room what's going on, there's an older lady who knows about the can-can, and she says that this is just never going to work because this is a dance that has died out. No one wants to see it anymore. But Henry has a great idea. He's going to rebrand it, and he's going to call it the French can-can instead of just the regular can-can. Now, everyone is amazed. By this idea, they absolutely love it, and they're all on board. Cancan, ces petites larmes, t'as pas la reine blanche Le cancan, pourquoi pas le rigodon Ouvre un nom nouveau, puis voilà. Mais ils ne veulent plus que de noms anglais maintenant. Macram, Macfarlane, Pipotel, Lavatory. Ce serait dommage pour notre vieux cancan. French cancan. Pas mal. Hein the only one who's not on board is Henry's girlfriend, Lola de Castro, because she believes that Henry is going to fall in love with this girl named Nini, the one he, he found to put on the show. And she's very jealous about this. And, um, you know, she doesn't want to lose her man to this girl named Nini. <laughs> But all in all, he decides to 
audition a bunch of girls, he uh, practices with them, he gets them ready to do this big dance. Now, um, before they do the big dance, there's a lot of other plot, uh, plot things going on here. Uh, first, of, there's a lot of other plot issues going on here. Uh, so first of all, um, Henry is not rich. He does not have a lot of money. And therefore, when he stays in hotels and when he books things and when he tries to pay for this venue that he's going to have these girls uh, do this big dance at, he can't pay for any of it. He doesn't pay for any of it. He doesn't, he just, uh, tells him that he can and then he leaves and he has no money. Uh, so there's a, a lot of times in this movie where he's being told that uh, you have to stop your act or you have to. This is what I gathered from this movie. I found this to be a bit confusing, but he has to either stop the act or he has to leave the hotel because he can't pay for anything. Um, now, luckily, there's a rich gentleman who also is in love with Nini. Um, I don't remember how this happened, but he's in love with Nini, and uh, she eventually falls for Henry, uh, and she starts dating him, and she's like that other woman in his life. Uh, but this rich guy tries to woo her. It doesn't work. He says, well, let's just go out on a date, and, uh, you know, we can see how it, how it goes, how it happens. So she goes out on a date with him, and then after the date, he ends up giving her the deed to this place where they're supposed to do their final can-can act. So apparently he bought the place, it seems like, and he's giving it to her as a gift since uh, Henry can't afford it. Um, Nini also had another boyfriend in the beginning of this movie, but she left him because... Um, she fell in love with Henry. So there's a, and then um, also Lola De Castro, who was Henry's girlfriend, uh, is cheating on him with another guy as well. So I lost track of like these, um, these love triangles and I actually stopped trying to follow them. So there's a lot of love triangles in this movie. Eventually at the end, it sorts itself out and everyone is with who they're supposed to be. Uh, Nini ends up being with Henry. I think there's like a 25, 26 year difference between their ages, but they end up together and they seem pretty happy. They do this big can-can act at the end. It's a pretty big, grandiose act with a lot of uh, flipping and a lot of really cool dancing. And uh, that's the end of the movie. So uh, there's not a lot of plot here, at least for me, because uh, a lot of it is honestly just them practicing their dancing, uh, getting along with each other, learning how to do the dancing, and then the love triangles. That's basically, and then the fact that Henry can't pay for anything is also uh, another big part of the movie. So what do I think of this movie? Uh, not a huge fan, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I thought Jean um, Gabon, I thought they didn't give him enough, considering the great kind of actor that he is. He didn't have the material he needed to really become a great actor in this movie. Um, and like I said, I, I, I can just keep talking about this all day, but the love stories, I was completely confused by all of them, why they were all necessary, why people were jumping from person to person, and how many people Nini, people actually loved or liked Nini, and why she was with all these different people when she said that she was supposed to be with Henry. Why is she going out with this guy who is rich? Um, why is she still talking to her ex-boyfriend who she doesn't love anymore? Uh, why is he still even, even still in the movie? He doesn't play an intricate part in the movie after the beginning. He's just there to say that he's angry and that he wants her back. And then there's nothing that ever comes from that ever. It's just him at the end of the movie. He is completely jealous over her dancing and over guys oogling her and wanting to be with her. And he's just uh, upset and he has these upset grimaces and these upset stairs and uh that's it there's nothing there's there's no reason for him to be in that movie besides the fact that he is showing that he is jealous of the situation uh henry at the end of the movie um uh, when nini says that she loves him and she only wants to be with him she actually says like i want you for my own i don't want uh you to be with anyone else besides me and he says well that's not really fits my lifestyle that's never gonna happen uh i go where this the show goes and i do what i have to do for the show so if there's a girl that I need to get with for the show to thrive, then I will get with that woman. So uh, it's not a good idea to want to be with me in a relationship because it's not going to work. But then she decides anyway, I think, that she wants to be with him because that's what the movie is telling me. 
Uh, so I guess my argument here is I don't really understand the motives of a lot of these people, why they're doing what they're doing. So she says that she's in love with uh, Henry, but he says that he shouldn't be loved because it's a bad idea. Uh, so that should be a red flag right there. And I don't know why she continues to pro to go into this relationship with him. Um, I don't know. I could go on all day about these love triangles. I didn't understand them. I thought they were stupid. Um, and just like when I reviewed Top Hat, and I feel like a love triangle is the whole plot of the movie. Well, this was basically, this was a big section of the movie. Uh, I just, I just can't keep focus on it. I didn't enjoy it at all. I won't say that this movie isn't without merits. I mean, the final can-can dance that they do is extraordinary. There's a girl who just keeps doing multiple flips on the ground. I mean, it's a very well choreographed dance that they do. Uh, you can tell that they put a lot of time and effort into it. And uh, it's it's beautiful. The last dance that they do is absolutely amazing. And there's also this idea that the can-can, uh, it frees these people. It, frees them of the uh, pain and suffering that they're feeling in the outside world because when, when they're doing this dance that they could just do this dance and be happy that they're doing it. It also helps get these girls out of these low paying jobs and so that they can actually uh, do something with their life and become something. So it, it's a public service to the women in uh, the town in a way that it's providing jobs. So it's not exactly like the, the worst thing in the world, but I just, I don't this isn't by far this is not the best musical i've ever seen it's probably actually one of the worst musicals i've ever seen but like i said it, it does have some enjoyment it does um the choreography is fantastic um the acting is okay i didn't really enjoy the script at all uh and i don't know i'm just not a huge fan of jean Wenoir as a director but i mean i'll still give this movie a uh i'll, I'll give it a six and a half out of ten um like i said it wasn't great and uh I, it wasn't a movie for me and i really didn't understand uh why it was made besides the fact that it's a moulin rouge i don't even know if the moulin rouge is real like uh, there's another movie be called the Moulin Rouge as well so is this actually like a real thing that happened I don't know but uh I wasn't uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this movie at all so 6.5 thank you have a good day